You're listening to Mike Davis, the world-famous BBC Radio 1 punk rock show. We heard from him earlier tonight in session. The song was Keep Them Shut. We have Dead Swans in Made of Ale tonight. Guys, how's it going? Really good. <laughs> Great. Great, fantastic, awesome. Super hey, excited to be there. Definitely. Yeah, that is sick. We were talking about it that? earlier uh, before we started this interview that you guys have released... Are we calling it uh, an album or are we calling it an EP? It's an EP. It's an EP. Yeah. It's a long it's a EP. It's <laughs> Right? Yeah, it's a long EP. Disc. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so it's a seven song EP, and yeah. uh, you were saying that it, it is actually, in all seriousness, hard for you guys to tour because you're so busy. Is that because you all have jobs and. and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah, I've got my own business and stuff, so I opened a year or so ago, so it's been like a hell of a. Like crazy, there was been a couple of times when I haven't been able to be on tour, and you know that was one of the reasons we haven't toured so much, just because we didn't want to be a band that always has feelings. And um, we got Joe to join us recently, pretty much full time on guitar, but we just wanted to kind of keep it that when we play now, we're a full lineup. And does that almost make it better now? So when you do tour, it's a big event. It's not just like, oh, we're back on the road again forever. Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, it was like we were saying earlier. It's like bands like ours can just turn into that band that's always on tour and you can see them you know once every couple of months and it's I like to play a couple of times a year and people actually seem to care about it it's a lot more it makes it a lot more special for me so when you actually play you kind of you know really really looking forward to it and not that I don't enjoy touring or anything but you know like I said it's just a lot more special strenuous sometimes Oh, I can imagine how strenuous it is. I, I, I've said it a hundred times. I wouldn't wish touring in a full-time band on my worst enemy. I can't imagine being away from home all the time and not knowing where you are and all that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, and people people think it's really glamorous, but at the end of the day, you're in you're in a like we did a tour with with Joe's other band, More Than Life, and we were literally sharing the smallest fan that our knees into locks and we yeah, had to uh, push it up hills. We, 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 we basically named the tour the Knee Party Tour. <laughs> it, we, we we drove for 17 hours to Sweden with all of our knees into locks in like these tiny little benches that even your ass couldn't fit on rock and roll but yeah. the money's good so. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> I'm guessing that's why it's been uh, three years since Sleepwalkers and it's starting it's been a while right because you've been doing other yeah, it's stuff like real yeah. busy and like yeah Nick lives in, in Vienna oh okay mm. he's yeah. studying French cuisine is it Nick is this true <laughs> No, no, I'm actually, my friend opened a skate store in Vienna, and I'm actually the shopkeeper there. Well, what else can we, uh, as far as plans and what people need to be posted on for the next year, what, what else can they expect? I don't know, I don't, I don't even really want to say, like, oh, you know, we're definitely going to do this, we're definitely not going to do this. It's more just like... I think we're a lot more spontaneous. Yeah. Yeah. If we can, if we can like come up that we we can all get the same time off work and stuff like that, we'll definitely put something together. We might just play a couple of shows. Um, if like our band friends' bands are doing release shows or something like that, we we may jump on them. Um, but yeah, nothing sort of set in stone at the moment. But like in terms of using this as a platform to promote other stuff going on in the UK, there's a bunch of other bands that people should be checking out. Do a roll call instead of us. Throw anyway, some names. So, uh, our friends, we've actually had a couple of our friends from last winter here with us today. Yeah. Um, Theo yeah. and Sykes have come down to hang out. Yeah. Cheers, um, guys. Thanks, guys. Theo actually sings on the song that you'll hear later, Southern Blue, Breaking Point. Basement. Basement. Cool. That'll do it. Yeah. Well, uh, best best of luck for the year, guys. Keep in touch. Let me know what's going on. And anything that you do have coming up, let me know, and we'll announce it on the show. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers, Don't change your number again. Uh, well, yeah, I won't. I'll, I'll, keep you, I'll keep you updated on any number changes, although it's been the same for 10 years, but we don't have to get into that. Um, okay. uh, go ahead and introduce the next two songs we're going to hear right now. Uh, the next song you're going to hear is Ivy Archway. It's from um, our album Sleepwalkers uh, that came out a few years ago. It's one of our favorite songs from that album. And it's the one after that is Southern Blue. It's off Anxiety and Everything Else. It's kind of like a little ode to the band because we never wrote anything about I guess what it means to all of us and uh, so that was my first attempt at that so and it features Theo from Last Witness check oh yeah out. check out Last Witness too well this is it exclusive on the Punk Rock Show Dead Swans in session from Made of L. thanks guys